property tax relief may not be a statewide issue, but it is a real issue in the Lehigh Valley, one issue with varying aspects to it. State Representative Joe Emmerich from the 137th Legislative District is here to discuss one of those aspects that he is co-sponsoring, that being House Bill 2300, which recently passed in the House and now sits with the Senate. Representative, talk first of all about what this bill basically does. Well, one of the things I continue to hear uh, resoundingly from my constituents is the, the crushing property tax burden that they face year after year. And so House Bill 2300 is a constitutional amendment that provides a foundation uh, for the legislature to enact 100% property tax, uh, homestead and farmstead relief. This, unlike a lot of other bills, it's not as simple <clears throat> as going through both chambers and then being signed by the governor, which most bills have to do. Right. In this case, um, a constitutional amendment requires that the bill be passed by both the House and Senate in two consecutive sessions, uh, and then uh, when that happens, it goes to statewide referendum for voters to have a say. Uh, and the reason that this has to happen is because um, in the state constitution, there is what's referred to as a uniformity clause. Everybody has to be taxed uh, in a uniform or equal manner. And so it needs to be placed in the constitution that we can provide as a legislature 100% property tax relief. And so that's, uh, that's what this bill does. So in other words, we're not talking about any time until about 2014 or somewhere around there with two consecutive sessions, correct? That's correct. Um, theoretically, it could pass this session. It's been out, passed out of the House already. Uh, it's now with the Senate. Um, if uh, we come back in January, the start of a new session, uh, we could pass it then. And then you could be technically looking at, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but I would guess, yeah, even 13, even sometime in 2013 as a possibility. Okay. Now, property tax relief obviously is a very hot topic in, in your district, but there are other aspects to the school funding formula crisis, <clears throat> are there not? Yes. The, uh, the way schools are funded in Pennsylvania, um, through what's referred to as a hold harmless clause, is uh, really inequitable. And so what happens is a lot of people don't understand that where we have a crushing property tax problem, many parts of the state do not. And, uh, for example, the western part of the state, where populations have been plummeting, um, the way the school funding formula is set up, many of those schools get well over 50%, upward of 70% of their funding from Harrisburg. So they don't have a property tax problem. Where, uh, for example, in my area where we have the East and, and Nazar school districts, our, those two schools are getting approximately 24% funding from the state. And so areas with high growth and population have been detrimentally affected, uh, especially over the last 10 to 15 years. And so the, really the two issues are tied together because um, when we don't fund our schools in a fair and equitable manner, it forces upward pressure on our property taxes. Loaded question. How often do you hear about this? <laughs> every week. Every week. It's that significant. And um, obviously I've spoken to thousands of people over the last uh, several years. And th this issue is one of the leading, if not the leading issue in my district. But the important point we want to talk about 20, with regard to 2200 is this is the foundation. Yes. For the this, this is a foundation. This um, amends the Constitution so that the legislature at some point with companion legislation will be able to provide an avenue for 100% property tax relief. This has to happen before we can get to full property tax relief. Yep. And, and what that looks like will be something that gets debated. Um, you know, usually I, I always prefer a local option um, and how that's implemented into law is something that we'll have to see in the future. If you have questions on this or any other legislative topic, Representative Emmerich's contact information will be on the screen in a few seconds. I'm Scott Little. Thanks for spending five minutes with State Representative Joe Emmerich.